What is up weekenders? I got something a little different, a little special for you guys today that may or may not have to do with a SEMA Bronco that you may or may not have seen before. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Let's do this. small shop called Counts Custom. Uh, just small shop. You may have heard of it before though. I think it was on a TV show called uh, Counting Cars at one point. I don't know. Either way, my buddy Walter is over there and uh, he has a SEMA build Bronco. And uh, with any luck, he's gonna throw me the keys to that thing so that I can show you guys what that Bronco is all about. And uh, let's head over there because I'm excited. Buy a sweet looking Bronco. Whew. All right, what's up, Walt? What's going on? Sure, you trust me with this bad guy right here? Yeah. All right, hey, it's in good hands, and uh, I think the viewers are really going to enjoy checking it out, so I appreciate it. Swap some yeah, keys sir. here, appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you soon. Right, guys I'm out here at the Nellis Dunes which is just north of Nellis Air Force Base which is just north of Las Vegas and uh, this is an OHV park anyone cannot come out here with their side-by-sides dirt bikes Jeeps Broncos and uh, have a good time it's a cool area if you're ever around here come check it out uh, just be careful come with a friend the sand uh, can definitely get a little intense and you could get stuck so just be prepared if you're gonna do that but uh man So I don't even know where to start with this Bronco because it literally has everything in the book that you could put on a Bronco. First things first, I'm just gonna say, the paint looks amazing. Uh, the paint is done here at Count Customs in Las Vegas and they absolutely killed it. They did this retro look with a little red, white, and blue accents and the stripes. They did a, a subdued flag that goes down the whole Bronco. It's a real uh, eye catcher, that's for sure. I mean, this thing, absolutely sticks out so first things first fenders he's got the advanced fiberglass concepts five inch fender kit that's for the front and rear i think it fits this bronco absolutely perfectly he's paired that with the advanced fi fiberglass concepts hood which also in my opinion looks awesome if you have a uh, Badlands, which is what this is, or a Wild Tracks. Uh, they even made the grill, the intake up front, the little grill, match the grill on the Bronco. Sweet touch, love that. Uh, since we're here in the front, we're just gonna keep moving down here. So he's got some red, white, and blue Bronco emblems, love that. He's got the Alpha Rex headlights. If you haven't seen these, these things are awesome. They look so good uh, at nighttime and during the day, in my opinion. Moving down, he's got some Project X lights here up here on the front. Those put off some pretty serious lights. In the middle, you got a worn winch. That's a VR12 winch paired with a factory 55 hook. Looks super good. And uh, all that's wrapped in the metal cloak front bumper. I do believe that this isn't available yet, but it should be in the future. Don't quote me on that but it's a great looking bumper. Oh yeah, he's got some little fog lights in here too. I believe those are Baja designs. Don't quote me on that. So moving around, he has some race line wheels done in this nice red, white, and blue pattern. Uh, these things look awesome. It's like a machine finish in the middle, beadlock ring in this nice anodized looking red with the blue with lug nuts. I think it's a sweet option. Surprisingly matches the Bronco extremely well. 
Uh, on top of that, he has some Mickey Thompson Baja Bus tires and 37 1250 R17 tires. Look great and uh, perform great too. So moving to the suspension package in this, since we're here, he has a Fabtech lift kit with the Dirt Logic coilovers. Uh, this so this is a full kit, upper control arms with coilovers with remote remote reservoirs uh, for that little more high speed action uh, these kits get a lot of good reviews and uh, I think it's going to be a good option for Walt uh, on this Bronco I wanted to stop the video right here for a sec because you probably noticed that Walter doesn't have any kind of aftermarket tie rod or tie rod brace on his Bronco and that's because he had issues with a brand I'm not going to mention it was a full aftermarket tie rod replacement ended up breaking uh he is waiting for the bronc buster kit uh and he's going to be having bronc buster braces on his bronco here very shortly and uh let's keep pressing on so moving around to the side he has metal cloak rock sliders i actually had these on my bronco also and i love them i think they look great they don't stick out super far but uh give some pretty good protection and uh if i haven't told you guys already he did everything in gloss black on this bronco and uh just gives that extra custom look to include his mirror and uh his upper valence on uh his bronco here and uh i think it looks absolutely amazing uh we're gonna kind of scooch underneath the bronco here he has metal cloaks entire skid system on this thing it's pretty much a flat bottom under here and uh it looks great it's going to protect the bronco extremely well it's kind of got this cool gold anodized finish to it like that moving off to the side of that we have some baja kits uh rear lower control arm skids for the front uh, along with the fabtech control arms to look go with that uh, those coilovers that I mentioned before uh, moving around you can see the remote reservoir mounted up there in his fender for his rear coilovers and uh, we're gonna move around to the back now of Walter's Bronco he has the LED uh, factory headlights in his Bronco I think they look great although I think uh, some of them Oracle uh, flush mounted taillights would look uh, pretty awesome on this Bronco once again he has the metal cloak rear bumper to match that front bumper with some what I think I believe is Baja design lights in there he has some worn tow hooks and he has a hammer built uh, rear tire carrier brace uh, along with a roto pack to go with that uh, also mounted to that he has this antenna which may look a little goofy, but uh, I believe this is from a Wii Boost. And uh, when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you don't have very good service, uh, this antenna is going to give him uh, a little bit better service. Full size spare, obviously. So moving underneath real quick, he does have some shock skids from Bronk Buster, along with some uh, control arm skids for the rear from Metal Cloak and a diff skid from metal cloak along with the metal cloaks diff cover done in that custom paint job looks super cool he does uh does also have an exhaust for this i don't know what brand it is it has a small muffler up in the middle of the bronco it appears to be about three inch uh driving it over here it sounded great so uh whatever that exhaust is uh sounds awesome i'll try to get that info and put it in the description below all right moving into the back of this bronco there's a lot going on and that's for sure uh i'm gonna start here on the tailgate uh, i want to point out first he has his tailgate uh bed line which i think is really cool because my bronco is really scratched up in this area uh, just from stuff hitting it in the trunk and whatnot off-roading so if your your tailgate's all scratched up on the inside this may not be a bad option uh, moving up he has a mount to metals tailgate uh, table these are pretty nice just for having a table when you're off-road or camping not a bad uh not a bad investment right there uh he also has some soft sackles hanging on there along with an arb twin compressor uh if you don't have a way of airing up your tires this is a really good option highly suggest it uh more soft shackles because you can never have enough soft shackles um, moving on the sides he has some more mountain to metal molly racks these things are super cool paired with the mountain to metals uh tray table or i believe it's called a tray uh or basket uh for the trunk and this is super cool holds all your recovery gear nicely up top 
still allows you to put whatever you want in the trunk. Uh, he has a sweet Rockworks multi-tool. If you haven't seen these yet, these things are actually super cool. They fold out uh, into multiple tools, including a shovel, but you can also put them in your uh, trailer hitch or your trailer receiver and uh, use them as steps. So if you have a truck or something like that that you need a step on the back of your vehicle, that's not a bad option. I think they're kind of cool. He's got some tow rope, some kinetic rope, uh, along with some traction boards. Off to the side, he has a kicker sub. Appears to be about a 12, maybe 10 inch. Pretty sure it's a 12. Uh, in this custom case, I think it looks great. And uh, man, yeah, the back of this Bronco has a lot going on and I dig it. So moving into his front, he has some Cover King seat covers. These aren't a bad option, uh, especially if you are in muddy areas and you don't want to get your seats all completely dirty. Uh, protect your seats, right? So that's not a bad investment. They feel really nice, nice neoprene fabric, pretty high quality. He has some more mountain to metal on his doors so you can get a little bit more storage in here. In my opinion, these, uh, these I don't know, bungee, cord things that come from Ford. They don't work very well. Uh, he does have the washout floors. Jealous of that. I wish I had that. Uh, pretty nice feature. And then for his phone and such, he has a 67's Designs uh, phone mount for the Bronco. Uh, I also have this set up in my Bronco and love it. So if you're looking for a high quality Bronco rail to mount all your accessories on, definitely check out 67 Designs. No, I'm sure I missed an absolute ton on this Bronco. Actually, I know I did because Walt put in a ton of time and effort into making this Bronco perfect and it shows. This isn't just a show Bronco though. He actually uses this Bronco out on the trails with his Sin City Bronco Club members, our group members. Uh, if you haven't seen, uh, I've posted videos with Sin City Broncos before. It's a great group out here in Las Vegas. If you're ever in town, definitely check out their Facebook page. They just launched a website and uh, they put on events all the time to go out, do fun trail rides with the community, and it's a great time. Uh, I just want to say thanks to Walt for letting me show this Bronco off. I'm sure you guys loved it. I love this Bronco. And uh, if you want to see more overview videos of cool Broncos like this, let me know. Uh, leave a comment below, like the videos, subscribe, and uh, I guess we'll see you at the next waypoint.